Hey everybody, Brickworks here. Hello from quarantine. Uh, you know, of course, due to the virus and pandemic, I've been uh, at home working from home, so I've been doing a lot of turning and uh, I've done quite a lot of selling on eBay as well. Found a place that's open and actually does uh, ship ship uh, out of uh, out of Tulsa because we've got several places that are closed down and I don't have a close U.S. PS Depot near me so found a place been shipping everything's been uh, going pretty good no one in the family's sick so luckier luckier than most I guess but uh, today we're going to turn the blank that I made uh, for our St. Patrick's Day episode it's actually Easter Sunday today uh, so I've done a lot of other turning instead of this one I wanted to get this one on video um, I like to like to make the blank and then have a video where I turn it or do it all in the same video for the channel. So here you'll see me uh, turn this one down to to shape and uh, get it polished up and completed. Uh, I've already got the hole drilled and the facing done. It's mounted in a collet chuck and we've got it turned around so I can get it uh, knocked down to shape. So you'll see that here in just a moment. So here's where I want to talk about a couple of products um, and I've changed my sanding schedule a little bit so that I'm only doing basically five runs of sanding um, as you saw me do I do uh, a one run of 220 after cutting then I do uh, just with the lathe spinning and then stop it and do back and forth with it turning the other direction Then I do 400 and that's going to be the same thing while the lathe spinning and then turn it off and go back and forth with the lathe spinning the other way by hand. And then I'll do a wet sand of 600 and I do the first two micro mesh, um, the 1500 and the 1800, the brown and the green, I believe is still what, what they have them set up for right now in the color scheme. Then um, normally what I would had previously been doing is going through all of the micro mesh all the way to 12,000. And uh, I've seen several videos uh, with other creators that are, you know, they're, they're stopping at even 600 at wet sanding and uh, moving to uh, either the Yorkshire Grit you see below or the Triple E Ultra Shine. Um, so I, I took a look at some forums to figure out which one of these is the better product or 
a more recommended product, and uh, they kind of they kind of said, eh, they use different stuff, but they're the same deal. They're a uh, abrasive sanding compound, uh, abrasive paste. So um, what I currently do, as I said, is I'll go through wet sand to 600, then do micro mesh to 1500, then 1800. And at that point, I apply triple E. And you'll see a lot of other folks do that, and then that'll be the end step, or this will be the end step, uh, Yorkshire grit. This is a lot easier to find in the, in the United States. This is a lot easier to find in the UK. You can get it here, but the shipping is, you know, probably gonna be paying half of what you're gonna pay for the entire uh, tub in shipping. I think I bought this for 28 and I had it shipped for 25 So uh, this one came from, I believe, uh, Penn State. And it was, this is a little bit more expensive uh, a product. Uh, I believe this tub was about $26, but again, shipping was only like six or $7. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I put this on. Um, my understanding is that this one is a pumice stone uh, cutter in, in the polish wax. And the carrier is a, um, a keras, not a kerosene, um, kind of didn't come to mind right now. Um, it has a very uh, petroleum smell to it as compared to the Yorkshire grit, which I believe is actually right there, mineral oil, lemon oil, beeswax, rotten stone, and pumice. Um, this does not have the rotten stone in it from what I understand, um, but uh, it, does, uh, it does cut about the same. The, it's a little less thick than the Yorkshire. So I'll put this on first uh, after the 1800, then I will buff that off and then I will put on some Yorkshire, just a little bit less Yorkshire than I would use of this, uh, to kind of finish it up. And then from there I buff and I only buff, um, on the white diamond. And then there is a blue bar. That's a plastics, uh, bar. This one was all busted up when I got it, but this is a plastics bar also from, uh, Penn state and it's specifically for plastics. So white diamond works really, really well. And then I'll use the plastics wheel so I don't even touch Tripoli with it after I do these two. So just a word on um, what my current current process is to get uh, what I feel is the, the best look on these for the, uh, the right amount of you know, tedious sanding time on them. So away we go. Here's the final finished brush handle. As you can see, you can see through there into the, the inside of the brush where the burl cap piece is. That looks really, really neat. So there you have it. The top's a little bit shorter. Like I said, uh, need to cast that a little bit longer next time. Um, but it, uh, it turned out to be very, very nice. So. Thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And you can see a listing of all the products I use in the description below. Thanks.